Hello everyone. Sorry, I think I'm a minute or two late. I just got through a sneezing fit, so sorry about that. I hope you guys are doing well tonight, today, Tuesday. Um, welcome to my weekly Facebook Live. Let me just go over here and share in the group here. Hi, Patty. Let's share this. So thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I have a super pretty card. If you like purple, you're going to love this card. Hi, Trish. This is a, uh, hi, Carrie. Um, really pretty. Hi, Donna. Oh my gosh, you guys are all with me tonight. Really pretty card. I hope you guys like it. So my new card class has dropped um, today. So let me just raise you guys up a little bit. Um, it is the In Bloom card class. So of course I'm going to do my video on the In Bloom video or dies and um, stamp set tonight, so you guys can see. Super fun set. You could just get the dies. You don't need the stamp set to go with the dies. Um, there's no stamps that actually coordinate with the dies that I found. Um, unless the leaves, I don't know if the, the leaves might, but, um, I've been playing around with it lately <clears throat> and, uh, it's really, really awesome. So Trish, you're going to love today's card, I think. So I'm waiting, uh, Tina, my, my, uh, bestie, she's not on tonight. So she, she usually always joins me. And I thought of her when I was making this card because she loves, loves purple. So hopefully she'll join me or join us in a little bit. So I wanted to, you guys, um, I don't know if you guys are aware, if you've seen it, I haven't posted it yet, but there's free shipping tomorrow on any purchase, $50 or more pre-tax. It's running all day tomorrow. So if you guys get your orders in, there's no shipping. That is like the best thing. I love when we have no shipping. So for anybody who's a demonstrator, Donna, um, you get to put in your order, free shipping, and your discount. So win-win for us. So I got a bus bunch of stuff that I want to order. Um, so that's only tomorrow. So if you guys want to get some orders in with free shipping and, you know, you know where to shop, head over to my shop. Make sure you use the host code, which I'll show you in the video, and I'll leave it in the link of the video. Um, yeah, Trish, I love when they do free shipping. That's like my favorite out of all their sales. I don't know why. Any time I can get free shipping, I'm like, yes. Um, but if you guys use my host code, you guys will get this week's class pack. Well, two weeks it'll be um, for the In Bloom class. So there's that. So the In Bloom card class, you guys, I think you guys are getting familiar with my card classes, how they work. You're going to get two a month. One will post for the first two weeks. And then the next one will post for the second two weeks. And um, if you make any purchase, any size purchase in my shop, and you must use the host code that I'm providing you guys, um, it changes month to month. So just make sure you're using the correct one. You'll get a free uh, card class from me, depending on what, what, you know, stamp set or dies or whatever I'm using. So again, it is the In Blooms, this the next two weeks Th this one will run through the um, month of march and then if you guys just want to purchase the card packet from me um it's 15 dollars, and that includes shipping and i just need your email address and i can send you an email if you're on my team i will provide you with the video and the pdf so you can you know create your own cards that way or you can buy the card packet from me if you still want and you save $5. So it would be $10 if you're on my team. So that's the card class. I hope you guys are liking them. I'm having fun creating and thinking of different card ideas. Um, I just wish I wouldn't do it at the last minute. I'm like, okay, I'm going to start on next week's or, you know, next month's card class and it'll be down to the wire, just like my Facebook lives every night 
or every week I know I have a Facebook live coming and it's down to the wire and I don't know what I'm doing, but I always end up creating something. So that's good. And then, um, the comment on my video, I don't know if I'm going to do giveaways. I don't know where I, you know, um, I love that you guys are here and I love that you guys are commenting and I think it's awesome. And thank you very much for supporting me. But, um, you know, I keep giving you guys the same stuff. So maybe in a couple of months, if I get more people, you know, I'll start doing more giveaways and stuff. So that's all I think I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight. Um, I'll, I'm going to point you guys down. So yes, Donna, you are so lucky. <laughs> um, I appreciate you being on my team too. I really do love, I love all my customers and I love all you guys, even you guys who don't shop for me, but you support me you know, via the likes and comments and sharing. Um, but I really do spoil my team. I love to spoil them because I joined a team that I'm not spoiled on, which I know everybody does everything differently. Um, I just thought I'd get more and I've learned a lot along the way. And um, it's, it's important to have that connection with your team and you know, make them feel important because they are important. Because if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't have a team and you wouldn't get your little commissions and your fun stuff that you get. So I appreciate you guys so much. And I, um, I'm happy to have a team because it's fun. I mean, you have different people with different ideas and you can collaborate. So anyways, I could talk forever about that. So let me just go ahead and flip you guys. There you go. I'm going to flip you down. Let's see. Okay, so you guys can see the host code. This is the current host code here. Um, again, like I said, use that one with your... I'm just going to straighten this out here. With any of your purchases from me. And I will give you the current card class. I think we're, we're good now. Okay, so you guys ready for this card? Isn't that card so pretty? I love, 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 love this card. So before we get into making the card, I wanted to bring in the stamp set, which is the In Bloom here. Super cute set with these different flowers. And then you have um, some sentiments in here. With the, um, oh, Don, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm totally happy that, you know, you're happy enjoying being on my team. And you know you reach out to me anytime and I'll help you out. This is the In Bloom dies. So the stamp set and the dies, like I said, they kind of coordinate, but they don't really coordinate. Um, so you can see the flowers are different than the flowers on here. So if you want to just get the dies, that's fine, but you can save 10% when you purchase both of them right now until the new catalog comes out. So I should have done these on a lighter, shade of paper but these are all the dies that are included in the set here so i'll show you i have some of them here and then i have the rest because these are all with my um card class so i keep them in my little magnetic dish here um so the rest of the dies are in here but i don't even know how many dies are included in the set but there are a lot of them and what is awesome about them is they all have this stitching, which I'm a big fan of the stitching. So that is a lot of fun with the stitching. I love all the stitching stuff. So let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-eight dies in this set, guys. So these three flowers here are all one die cut. Oh, wait, 29, because there's this flower stem. So lots and lots of dies in here. And I don't know if, it doesn't look like it on my, my camera here, but I don't know if you guys can pick up all that stitching in there. My bad, I should have used a different color cardstock instead of uh, Rich Razzleberry. But those are all the dies. And again, the stamp set, like I said, we're just going to use the dies on, on this one. I pre-cut all these out because it would have taken me, you know, quite a bit of time to get all these cut. So I'm going to bring in all the pieces so I can show you guys 
here. So here's our pieces that we're going to use. Lots and lots of pieces. So with this, I use the, um, um, oh, what is this one called? Gorgeous Grape. I use Gorgeous Grape as my card base. And I use the three different purples that we have. We have the Highland Heather Purple Posy and uh, Gorgeous Grape. So I kind of just, I use the larger daisy-like flowers and I cut three of them out. So I'm just going to show you guys. We're going to just put the daisies together. So there are these little pieces here that are the centers that you can use. So I'm just going to use some liquid mono glue on this or some multi-purpose glue, I guess I should call it. And I'm kind of mix matching the um, centers of these flowers. So I'll just put these on for now before we do anything else. So if you like these flowers and you like these dyes, there's a lot of die cuts in my class this um, month. So you'll get a lot of these different dyes and you'll be able to see exactly what you get in the In Bloom class. So now what I'm going to do is just move all these off to the side. And then this obviously is going to be our base. So I'm just going to give that a good fold. And then I'm going to glue the inside on first. Uh, this is just a piece of basic white. And this is just going to layer on the inside because of the dark colored card base. You want to have some place to write. And then I'm going to glue this on. This is from the Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper. That paper is so gorgeous. Let me see if I have it laying around here. I think I've showed you guys this paper before, but I just, I've gotten three packs of it now, I think. It is so super pretty. And I want to do a card class with the Hydrangea Hill stamp set and dies. So that is on my thoughts to get done. But these colors, they just pop right off the page. So pretty. And then this one, this would be a good um, scrapbook page if anybody's into scrapbooking. I love scrapbooking. Well, I used to do a lot of it. And then the back side of it, that's the piece we're going to use today. This piece here, the backside, oh, so pretty. I've been using this paper like crazy. So that is the Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper. There's a whole suite of this that you can purchase. But So there's our piece. I'm just going to glue that to the front of our card. So now I'm just going to start layering up my flowers. Yeah, hydrangeas. I love the hydrangeas. They're so pretty as a flower. They smell so pretty. So the first thing I'm going to do is the dies. There's two of these dies in the die set. So I just cut. So it's nice because if you wanted to do multiple leaves, you have two sets of these dies. So I actually cut four of these leaves out. And what you're going to end up doing is kind of gluing them in the corners. And then these are going to come down this way. And then we're going to just kind of plop all our flowers here. So I'm going to use the multi-glue um, just because it's a lot easier to use this glue. And you just need a little bit. My dogs are on guard for some reason tonight. They keep barking at everything. I don't know if they're expecting company. We are not having company, so they can expect company all they want. See on here, you can really see the stitching because it's lighter. So 
So after I get off of this video here, I'm going to go figure out what the heck I'm going to order tomorrow for free shipping. So I hope you guys like the background, background barking. <laughs> So it looks a little wonky, but once we start applying everything, it'll look a lot better. So then I'm just going to kind of figure out where I want my flowers to go. I'm going to kind of copy my last page. But you can see how now it's looking a lot better because you're covering up that green. So what I did with the bigger flowers is I actually pop them up but before I put them on you know what guys I should do this these are the stems now I saved myself a lot of headaches the uh, adhesive sheets I put this on the adhesive sheets because otherwise they're so thin um, unless you have a fine tip glue pen it's really hard to get that glue on there and this is so less messy so all you want to do is just peel off your backing and then I love that they thought of the stems with the dyes in here. Then I'm going to kind of angle that one there. I'm telling you, save yourself some headaches and get those adhesive sheets for these small dyes. If you like to die cut and you have a lot of the smaller dyes, these adhesive sheets are amazing. So then this is going to go... You have your three stems sticking out and now we're gonna pop up those flowers with the Stampin' Up dimensionals yeah this cut card with all the purple is just crazy Pop this guy up in the background. And then pop this guy over here. So super cute already. But I got to add more to it. So in that die set is this cute little ribbon bow love this so I didn't do the um, adhesive sheet on this because I'm just gonna put some glue right in the center because I want these to kind of you know flop up as because we're gonna put our um, sentiment here hi Tina I knew you'd love this card I was had you in total thought when I was making this card today I actually had colors picked out they were um, pinks, and I said, you know what? I'm going to do purple because I wanted to use that designer series paper, and that just goes so great together. So I'm going to take just a little bit of the liquid glue, put that right in the center. And then I'm going to put that right there. I love the, this is called paper piercing because you're putting everything together with the die cuts. I just love that. It's relaxing to me. I find it so soothing. So then I cut these out of the Calypso Coral and I'm just going to randomly place them on the um, card here. Actually, I'm going to do that now before I put my glue on so I kind of get a feel of where I want them. I just love the pop of the little pink in there. The Calypso Coral gives it a little pop of color. Let me 
maybe I'll put this one over here. Yeah, that looks good. So then I'll just take the liquid glue again and just put a little dot on there. Hi, Carrie. Whoops, stuck to my finger. So again, like I said, this is my latest card class. Not This card is not in there, but it's a surprise of what my card class, I give you a little peek of what's in there. And the reason why I do that is so that other um, people viewing my page, they don't see the full card and kind of copy it. This way you, and then, you know, it's a special thing when you guys order from me. Because nobody else can have my card class unless they're ordering from me. Well, that didn't work. Which one was it? This one right here. I got some glue on my finger here and it's sticking Oh my goodness, it's underneath there. <laughs> That's why I like to have tweezers. These are not Stampin' Up! tweezers. They don't actually sell tweezers. I think they did in the past, but there's no tweezers for sale now. But I like these tweezers. They got a very fine point to them, which helps out with... Um, I do Cricut. I do a lot of stuff with my Cricut, so that helps out with them too. But you always need a good pair of scissors and... A good pair of twizzer, twizzers, tweezers when you're crafting. So there's that. And then our final thing will be, I already cut this out. This is the um, die that's in this set too. So in here, there's a bunch of sentiments. And I think the only one that doesn't actually fit is the happy birthday. But all of these do. So I'm going to use the You Are Amazing to stamp that right here. And I'm gonna stamp that with the uh, Gorgeous Grape. Just so everything matches. Let me actually put that away. And then that one, well, let me show you guys. I always wash my stamps off with my Simple Chamois. This is what I keep them in. I keep them in a stamp case. It's just the thin little stamp case. I never close it. Um, I have before, and I haven't had mold. Some people have had mold, but I get a funky smell to it when it's closed. So I just leave this on my desk, just like this, open all the time. Um, and then when they... When it dries out, it really dries out. It's like a rock, and it takes a bit for um, the water to really soak in. So if you use these, just be aware of that. Um, you can store them in a plastic bag. As long as there's you're not completely closing it off, you'll be fine. Um, like I said, mine never molded, but they did smell, and it did look like it had a little bit of, of a spot on it. But um, I just would recommend keeping it out in the open like that. So that is one of the things that I use most often. I use that all the time. And it's great because not only, you know, is it good for your stamps, but you can, you know, you spill your whatever, ink or whatever, you can wipe that up. But Stampin' Up! has a Stampin' Scrub. And with your Stampin' Scrub, there is a wet side and there is a dry side. So there's a little sun in there and a little raindrops in here and this is great because it gets in your stamps um the fibers get into the stamps and really cleans them so the simple chamois is a great tool to use all the time but you should condition your stamps um i would say a couple times 
um, you know, at least once a month, maybe a couple times, maybe a couple of months, I would say. Once every couple of months is what I'm trying to say. So what you would do is you have this Stampin' Mist, which Stampin' Up! does sell, and you would just squirt this on the wet side. And this stuff smells amazing. And then you would just take your stamp and you can rub this on here. Now this is what would condition your stamp. This helps prevent your stamps from you know, cracking or drying and it really helps them um, over time. So you can keep your stamps a long time. And it does get deep down and it cleans them well. And then you just take the dry side and just rub it over here on the dry side. And then your stamp is nice and clean and you've conditioned it. So it's great to have both of them. You know, everybody, a lot of people ask, what do you, what do you recommend? I recommend both of them. This I use a way lot more than this, but I do use this, like I said, to clean my stamps, condition my stamps. If I notice I'm using a stamp a lot, like if I was going to use this one, you know, and do a lot of stamping with it, then afterwards I would use the Stampin' Scrub. So... You still have your original stamp and scrub. I know I just got rid of mine not too long ago, but I mean, we're talking like 20 years old. This thing was, they last forever. And the nice thing about them is these guys actually, these will pop out. So once they get really, you know, you're using it a lot and you've got a lot of ink in there and you'll notice when you're cleaning your stamps, you can pop this right out. Um, it's easy to pop out this side too. And you can just run this over warm water. You could put a little soap in it if you want, but I usually just run it over warm water. Cool water will work too, whatever water. And then you just, you know, what I'll do is I'll take my um, bone folder and I'll just kind of get all the water out. And then I just will put this back on my desk let it air dry for a couple of days and you're good to go. And that'll clean out a lot of that old, that ink that's in there. Cause that's what it does. It traps the ink. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. I don't think I've shown you the stamp and scrub in a long time. So back to the card. So now I've got this guy. I'm just going to put some stamping up dimensionals on the back. And then I'm going to kind of put this underneath that bow there. If that makes sense to you guys. Right here in the right, bottom right. So that's that card. Isn't that card so super cute? And it looks like it took forever to make. But it really goes quick. Once you do your die cutting, it really does go really quick. So, um, so that's the card. I hope you guys like that card. Like I said, that is part of my... Um, card class that I'm using. The not this card, but let me flip you guys up. Let me see. There we go. So that is the in blooms, and um, you know, you guys are gonna get. I, I think you guys are really gonna like this card class. I was really surprised with how it turned out. I'm really excited about it. The colors are really cool. So, but thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, thank you for being here and watching my card tutorial again. I want to do something 3D, but I just get to the, get to Tuesday and it's like four o'clock and I still haven't got anything figured out on what I want to do. Um, I always have this path in this, but my kids, you know, they kind of veer me off the path all the time and the husband, but oh well, that's life. But I always end up making something for you guys. So I hope you guys really like this one. Um, this one was a lot of fun to make. And that pierced blooms dies, they are amazing. So thank you guys. I will talk to you guys next week, same time. And um, let's see if I can end this here. I always do this here.